Hey everyone, I'm Dave and Happy New Year. This is uh, my first video of 2021. I haven't posted in a few days because I took a few days off uh, just to relax. Um, but I'm back at it now with this video of, uh, of me painting Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, I have a favor to ask you though before we get to the video. I just hope, I, I just want you to subscribe to the channel for me. It'll help me a lot. My goal right now is to get to a thousand subscribers uh, by April. So I'm really trying to make a push for that. If you could help out, that would, that would help this channel out a lot. And then like, uh, hit the like button. That'll help me out a lot for the YouTube algorithm to get my videos shown um, around to, to more people. So uh, without further ado, let's get to the video of me painting Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So sit back and enjoy the process and I'll see you on the other side of this intro. Thank you for joining me on my journey as I kick off 2021 with this bell painting. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It'll help me a lot with this channel and it'll help me a lot in hitting my goal of a uh, thousand subscribers by April. So I started this painting off with a uh, blue background, very light blue background, painted it, I let it dry. And then now I am uh, drawing in a uh, bell with a white charcoal pencil. Now you may be wondering um, uh, what kind of pressure, like how much pressure I'm using on this pencil. Uh, well, I'm actually painting this on a piece of wood. It's a wood canvas, or not, it's not a canvas, but it's a, it's a wood, uh, I mean, you'd find it in the canvas section, but it's just made out of wood completely. And the surface I'm drawing on is hard wood. Um, it, I found it at Hobby Lobby and I love these because they're not as fragile as canvases. So you may want to look into that if you're interested in painting on wood. You just got to paint it white first and then start painting your colors over it because the wood comes out, um, the wood has that wood like color on there uh, to start off with. So I drew Bell and now you see I'm painting in uh, common colors first so that I because because with acrylic this is acrylic paint and with acrylic paint your your paints are gonna dry up pretty quick unless you add like uh, put some additive in there that'll make it last a little longer so I did all my yellows first then I added a little brown of those yellows and did those back shadows with the yellow then I used some of that yellow with white and red to do the skin tones and I just went real light on the skin tones right now because I was using a wide paintbrush, so I couldn't get in all those uh, spots that I wanted to get into. So I did that, and now I, I'm using brown to uh, to color the hair in. And and so there's going to be some highlights where you're going to see some lights come forward on the hair. Uh, that'll be done on top of the the brown that I'm using now. It's just easier. I like to paint. Uh, from the back forward so so the colors that are going to be in the background or further back I paint those on first and then I layer over it because layering over it adds to the depth of the painting in the end and now I, I usually wait till the end to get on the acrylic paint marker outlining but right right here I decided to do it a little early just because I needed to define some of my lines in order to be able to finish painting over or, or finish getting the details in because I drew in all the details early with that acrylic um, sorry with that charcoal pencil and if I paint over it I'm not going to see the lines I did so I, I was careful when I painted it to kind of leave some of those spaces so I could tell where I drew those lines with the charcoal pencil and so now I'm coming in with the acrylic paint markers uh, you can see I'm doing the outline on the eye. I kept, I kept that outline area open so that I could tell where I put the eye. And, and now I'm just drawing that, um, filling that in with acrylic paint markers. So this is all acrylic. I'm using acrylic paint for the uh, paint brushes and I'm using acrylic paint markers. So it's all acrylic paint here. And so, um, yeah, now I'm uh, drawing in the lips. 
You can see I did a lot of the outline of the body already. Um, the hair is all brown. Um, I, I, when I do the hair for like a cartoon character like this, I like to keep the brush strokes flowing in the direction that I have the hair flowing or that I have the hair where the hair is going to be. So um, that in that way, uh, the, the brush strokes that I intend to leave on there flow with the hair and it just adds to the painting. And so now I'm drawing in uh, just the final details of the face and going back over the skin with uh, a deeper um, a deeper color. It's, it's a deeper mix of white, uh, red, and yellow to make it just a little bit darker. You can see I put some uh, um, some blush on her right now, and I'm I used a even darker shade uh, skin tone so I could get some of the shadows on her face right there and on her arm. And you can see I'm just doing some little touch-ups throughout with some white paint and uh, and then going back over the shadows on the on the dress. I just wanted to make them stand out a little bit more and put a stronger yellow color on the front part of that dress as well. So I went back over the dress to make it stronger uh, in, in tone overall because when I looked at it close up, I could still see a little bit of the blue background through the yellow. So I just relayered that. And you could do that too if, you're, if that's something if you're gonna follow my um, my method of painting where I paint from the back and then go forward, and you're gonna paint the whole thing with the blue background. You wanna make sure that the blue doesn't show through when you don't want it to show through. So you might have to put a couple of layers in there. So now I'm doing the highlights on the hair. And I started off with white for the uh, for the front part and then yellow as I as I as it kind of gets out to the brownish part of the hair. And so it blends just a little bit better that way. And then, and then eventually to this orange kind of brownish color that connects it to the, to the actual brown hair. And you can see I've made sure to do those lines um, in the flow of the hair. So it all flows together. And now I'm putting dots on there. Uh, just for the final, um, the little sparkly stars that are on the dress, just to make that dress shine and look extra special. And getting that last little bit with the acrylic paint markers. And here we go, Bell. If you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And click that bell for notifications so you can be notified every time I make a video. Thanks for watching.